<laughs> Yo, we are back. What's going on, everybody? Hey, it looks like we're about to really, really turn the corner. It looks like everybody's doing their job. It's your boy, Joe Richmond, ambassador of basketball for your Delaware Blue Coats. And I got the number one mascot in the whole G League, everybody. It's my boy, Cody. <laughs> and I know, huh, Coach? Yeah. Cody told me to remind you guys, we got to still keep being a more diligent. You know what I mean? Keep washing your hands. Try not touching your face. You know, they said, don't try to touch your face. Yes. And don't go out as much. I know the days are getting beautiful. It is getting nice out and it's hard. But guess what? If you want to go sit on your steps or walk around the block or things of that nature or practice a little basketball in your driveway, that's all cool. You know, just try to stay away. You know, practice social distancing. That's all they want you to do. And it's easy because it's all about being disciplined. Hey, and it's about watching out for one another, right? Right. I watch out for Cody. Cody watches out for me. He washes his hands. But guess what? Y'all don't see it. Cody always want to be combing his hair. <laughs> but, you know, it's time. It's the greatest time of the day. I love this time to be hanging out with you guys. It's time once again for books. And we got a good one for you. And basketball. <laughs> so, go get your first quiet place. Um... It's still, it's not even lunchtime yet. So you might still get a chance. Maybe you woke up a little late, slept in, slept in a little bit. So get you something, a little something to snack on, piece of fruit. Yes, get you some fruit. Get your nice little comfortable place. Sit back, relax. Me and Cody, we're going to be right back with some books and basketball. Hurry up. Shh. Come on. And we are back. And Cody says he wants to get right into it. It's one of everybody's favorite. Curious George visits the library. And when this is all over, we're all going to join the library. But come on, hang out with us for a little bit while we read. This is George. He was a good little monkey and always very curious. Today, George and his friend, the man with the yellow hat, y'all know who that is, were at the library. George had never been to the library before. Cody has. Cody goes to a lot of them. <laughs> he had never seen so many books before either. Everywhere he looked, people were reading. Some people had read quietly to themselves. That's not too bad to do as well. But in the children's room, the librarian was reading out loud, just like Coach Doe is doing right now with you guys. It was story hour. George loved stories. He sat down with a group of children to listen. This day and age, we can still sit down with a group, but it has to be a little distance between us. The librarian was reading a book about a bunny. Hey. George liked bunnies. Behind the librarian was a book about a dinosaur. George liked dinosaurs even more. He hoped she would read it next. But next, the librarian read a book about a train. Hey, I like trains. George tried to sit quietly and wait for the dinosaur book to be read. But sometimes it is hard for a little monkey to be patient. Hey, it's hard for Coach Joe to be patient. <laughs> When the librarian started a story about jungle animals, George could not wait any longer. He had to see the dinosaur book. Uh-oh, look at George. He's about to get into Cody, get your boy. <laughs> he tiptoed closer. Look, a monkey shot at a girl. The librarian put her finger to her lips. Shh, we must be quiet so everyone can hear, she said nicely. But there's a monkey, said a boy. The, li the librarian nodded and smiled. Mm-hmm. She agreed. When she finished reading the jungle story, the librarian reached for the dinosaur book. Where did it go? And where was George? George was all ready to take the dinosaur book home and read it with his friend when another book caught his eye. There you go. The book was about trucks. George wanted to take it home too. And here was a book about elephants. I'm not gonna make that noise. George loved elephants. He added it to his pile. Uh-oh, he's getting a lot of books in his hands now. George found so many books, he soon had more than he could carry. He leaned against the shelf that he thought to rest. Squeak with the shelf, shh, said a man. Squeak with the shelf again, and it moved. Why, it wasn't really a shelf after all. George had found a special cart for carrying books. It is about to go down. <laughs> what luck. Now George could carry all the books he wanted. He rolled the cart between the shelves and stacked up books. 
about boats and kites and baking cakes. Hey, he got my attention. He climbed higher to read books about cranes and planes. At last, George had all the books he could handle. He couldn't wait to head home and start reading. And right in front of him was a ramp leading to the door. Okay, George was curious. Curious George. Could he roll the cart all the way home? Down the ramp, George went. The cart rolled faster and faster. Stop, a library volunteer shouted. Come back in with my cart. But George was too excited to listen. The cart was picking up speed and George was having fun. Until crash, George and the cart ran smack into itself a shelf of encyclopedias. Those are some big books. <laughs> Blooks flew up in the air, and so did George. He landed in a big pile right between the O and the P. Wow, what a bunch of letters. Oh no, moaned the volunteer when he saw the mess George had made. How am I going to put away all these books? I'd like to borrow this one, said a boy from Story Hour, and I'll take this one, said a girl. With help from George and the children, the books were sorted in no time. Soon, there was just a small pile at George's favorite left. All George's was left. He said, oh, y'all can take those books, but these are mine. Would you like to take those books home with you? The volunteer asked George. Then he took George to a special desk and helped him get his very own library card. George was holding his brand new card. When his friend arrived with his books of his own, you know the guy with the yellow hat. George and his friend gave the books to the librarian. She smiled when she saw George's pile. I was wondering where this dinosaur book went, she said. It's one of my favorites, too. The librarian helped stamp the books and handed them back to George. With his books under one arm, George waved goodbye to the volunteer and his friends. Come see us again, George, the librarian said, waving back. Enjoy your books. And George did.